Hey everyone, in this week's Tech Tuesday video, we're going to show you how to install the Shocker mechanical frame onto your Shocker amp. So first, of course, you need your Shocker amp uh, mechanical frame, and I'm going to show you real quick what that comes with. Let's go ahead and slide that out there. Nice little warning card, mechanical adjustments, basically explains how to adjust it, your safety, how all that works. Definitely recommend to skim over that um, and then show you how to remove the parts, basically install instructions. So pretty straightforward on that one. Definitely recommend to look those over before you get too far into the gun. You have an extra spare parts kit here, so extra O-rings and extra filters, so hold on to those. You of course have your mechanical valve here. Go ahead and take that out. Lay it off to the side. And of course your mech frame right here. So the mech frames do not come currently with the on-off knob uh, to turn air off, so that will have to come off of your electronic frame. So don't forget that when you get going. So I'll move this out of the way. Okay, and then of course you wanna grab your shocker amp. Okay, go and move these O-rings out of the way too. You're good to go. Today you're gonna need a 532nd Allen key, and I believe it is a 5, uh, 564th Allen key. I'm gonna show you something on the inside of the frame here uh, before I finish up. So nice little way to increase and decrease the spring tension of, of your trigger pull inside the gun. It's a pretty cool little thing. Okay, so you wanna go ahead and make sure there's no air inside your shocker amp. So you're gonna do this by taking the back cap and turning it counterclockwise right there and then pull it out the back. As you start to pull it and as you turn it, air will vent out the back. So it's pretty safe to say there's no air in there right now. So go ahead and put that back in. You're gonna take your larger Allen key, the 532nd, and you're going to, in the back of your frame here, you want to turn it counterclockwise. So to the left, loosen it up, good to go. It's a pretty, pretty simple uh, install. If you have shot one of these before, please do give me a comment below, tell me what you think. Um, I've shot one, I just want somebody else's opinion. If you like it, do you hate it? Have you shot the actual Lux mech frame? Uh, and which one do you like better? Or maybe even the CS2 mech frame. Okay, so remove the screw, set that out to the side. And the way this frame works is it actually pivots from the front here. So you notice, I'm gonna hold the gun and I'm gonna spread this apart with my fingers, just like that. And so that way it pulls down. It pivots straight down, you're gonna be careful with that one. And then pull it straight off the gun, and you're good to go. So you do have an O-ring here, but it's locked into place, so you're okay in there. And I would recommend now, go ahead and take off this front knob. What I'm gonna do is take my finger, push it from the inside on the pin. So basically I'm pressing the inside of this, and so it helps it want to come out. And then unscrew that all the way, and lay your electronic frame off to the side. There's not an O-ring in this little gap. It's inside the on-off here, so don't worry about that. You didn't lose anything. Good to go. Next thing is you do have your solenoid in here and your solenoid wires. And so you're gonna want to take the red and black wires, grab them with your two fingers here and kind of wiggle them back and forth and pull them out. You don't need any tools for that. And then on the solenoid valve here, you, there's a small little lever. You wanna grab this with both fingers and I'm gonna pull this down and away from the body, away from the solenoid. And everything should fall out. So it's gonna loosen up everything and then the solenoid would just slide right off the bottom, just like that. So pretty straightforward. And if you're putting it back in, hold it against the gun and then tighten it up. You want to make sure you put it in smooth or make sure everything is flush when you do this. Good to go. So it's locked back in place. So pretty straightforward. You go ahead and slide the solenoid out and lay that off to the side. So if you notice this part right here, it's a little plastic uh, mounting bracket, I guess you could say. It actually comes off. So if you accidentally get this to come off, uh, the correct way to put it back in is there is a round cutout. Hopefully you can see that. And that sits against the body, so against this tube here. So you're going to make sure that is facing up. And it's pretty straightforward. A couple little plastic clips in here that just hold everything back in place. So it just snaps into place there. So pretty straightforward if it actually falls off. It's not real difficult, uh, but you wanna make sure you have it in there correctly. And then the correct way to make sure uh, that you put it back in is make sure that that plastic piece is facing towards the, facing down towards your table. If your gun is upside down, good to go. There are two small O-rings on the actual gun itself, on the clamping piece here, the valve assembly. 
So two O-rings there, it looks like two filters inside which come in your spare parts kit. So two O-rings there, they stay in place, no problem at all. All right, and I've done this a couple times. You don't actually have to grease this at all. So you don't have to worry about that too much. So you wanna take your mechanical valve. There is one side that has a small pin on it and one side that does not. The side that does not have the pin has a small groove cut out of it and that is going to mount to the top of this tube. It's just gonna set on top of this tube here. And the two holes, the same side, so you have your pin and you have your little metal piece here and you have your two holes, those are gonna face just like this. So pin facing up, two holes facing towards the back of the gun because the two holes match up with the two O-rings right here. So again, I'm just gonna set this straight in here, just like that. So just set it straight in. Make sure this plastic piece is facing down on top of that tube and this valve will slide right in. If you have any problems, just kind of wiggle it back and forth. Make sure it's set. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my finger on the top of this as I turn the lever on. Just kind of hold it all in place. So everything is flush. I'm gonna take this here and I'm gonna press it towards the front of the gun and it's locked into place. You're good to go, that's not going anywhere. So that is it, that's pretty much it. Pretty straightforward. And then once you wanna put your mech frame on, you want to go from the front and then press it straight to the back. So it locks into place here and then it swivels up, pivots up. And there is an O-ring on here that kind of gets, um, it has a little resistance to it, so you can kind of hear the gun, hear it snap. It locks in place to make sure nothing's leaking. And then, so right there's a little gap, locks in place, good to go. I'm gonna hold it together. I'm gonna go ahead and put my back frame screw in. And you wanna make sure that this screw is snug. <clears throat> So it can go at an angle. Don't tighten it up if it's at an angle. It needs to be vertical, so straight up and down. I'm just gonna snug it up and then I'm gonna take the bent side here and then once you feel a little resistance, tighten up just a little bit more and you're good to go. Make sure there's no gap inside the frame and you're all set. Go ahead and take the knob. This knob can kind of be a pain if you haven't done this before. You've gotta line it up with the small hole that's inside. So your pin here. Once you kind of get it close there, you're gonna press it in. It has an O-ring of resistance. So you're gonna to have to press it, apply pressure as you're screwing it in. So once you get it into the hole there, go ahead and turn it a couple times and you've got it locked in and you're good to go. This can be kind of difficult, like I said, so be patient on that one. And you're all set and that is your mechanical frame. Before you go out, of course, make sure you air up the gun. Go ahead and shoot it. Uh, make sure no leaks or anything like that. I've done probably 10 of these so far and haven't had any problems with them all straight out of the box. So I like them pretty straightforward. The one thing I wanna show you that I don't think anybody else, I haven't seen anybody show, is go ahead and take the two screws off the left side of the, of the grip. And it's kinda of cool what they did, I really like this. <clears throat> There's a spring inside of here and one, two, three, four, five different notches. So you can adjust the actual tension of uh, the trigger resistance. So right now it's on number two, as far as that goes. You can use needle nose to grab this little rod. You wanna be real careful, because it, or the spring. Uh, you wanna be real careful because it is a very, very, very thin um, spring. But what you can do is you can kind of pull it down. You can grip it with your fingers and move it to the to the bottom. Make the, dip, you know, make the trigger resistance more difficult or more resistant and actually it's kind of cool what they did. So if you like a lighter trigger pull, we can go all the way to the top. Just unhook it and then hook it back to the front and you can actually feel a noticeable difference on the resistance. Um, I do recommend to start it out at the second notch and don't mess with it. Play with it once or twice, see what you like, and then as it breaks in and as you figure out what you like, you may realize that you'd like it on the stock setting, number two, um, or you can make it lighter You know when you go to the field next time. A little trick there, so. A lot of people haven't talked about that at all. And I do like that you can adjust it. Go ahead and tighten these back up. So yeah, so that concludes our tech video. Make sure you keep your solenoid from your, uh, of course, from your electronic frame. Go ahead, I would recommend go ahead and put that back in your box. Make sure you have everything here accessible. I don't think the frame will fit. Let's see if they thought about that. Oh yeah, it will. That's awesome. So that way you can actually put your frame and everything all in one place. That way when you do want to switch it back, you can of course grab your box, you're good to go. 
So pretty straightforward. That's pretty awesome on that one. Um, other than that, you are good to go. If you guys have any questions or if there's anything I missed, please comment below. Again, if you've shot the mech frame, if you like it, hate it, uh, you know, if you think it's worth it, or if you like a different mech frame instead, go ahead and comment below. Tell me below. I'd love to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, go ahead and hit like. If you like paintball videos, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. We do, uh, we do uh, produce at least two videos every single week, a product review and a tech video, and then occasionally we do some pro tips, some playing tips and stuff like that. So again, subscribe to our YouTube channel if you like it. Otherwise, we will see you guys next time. Thanks so much.